How has Arch Manning lived up to the hype and expectations during his high school career? Arch was born into a football dynasty, uncomparable to any other. His grandfather, Archie Manning, stands tall in the College Football Hall of Fame, a testament to his legacy. Alongside him, Arch's uncle Peyton has already secured his place in the Football Hall of Fame, while his other uncle Eli seems poised to join this club in the future, further cementing the Manning's legacy. But the Manning football lineage doesn't stop there. Arch's father, Cooper, was one a highly touted wide receiver prospect destined for greatness. Tragically, his promising career was cut short by a diagnosis of spinal stenosis before he could showcase his talents at the collegiate level. Despite this setback, Cooper's passion for the game remained as he continued to be deeply involved in football, passing his knowledge on to his brothers. Growing up in such an environment where football excellence was not encouraged but expected created expectations for Arch. Some thought he wouldn't be able to live up to. Whether he embraced it or not, the simple fact was he was a Manning and he was playing quarterback. Everyone was going to be watching him. The weight of his family's legacy rested squarely on his shoulders, a pressure that could have crushed many young athletes to not even want to play. However, against all odds, who thought the hype might be too much to handle, Arch not only met those expectations, but in many ways managed to surpass them. His high school career became a testament to his talent and him as a person through his maturity. Arch's journey began at Isidore Newman, in a feat that his legendary uncles couldn't even achieve. He earned the starting quarterback position as a true freshman. His debut game was nothing short of spectacular, as he showcased his arm talent by throwing for over 200 yards and three touchdowns. As his freshman season progressed, Arch continued to dazzle on the field. By the time the final whistle blew on his inaugural high school campaign, he had amassed an impressive 2,500 passing yards and 34 touchdowns. Those stats didn't go unnoticed, earning him Mags Preps Freshman of the Year, a clear indication that Arch was living up to this hype. But what truly set Arch apart was his conduct off the field. In an era dominated by social media and constant self-promotion, Arch took a different approach. He maintained an incredibly low profile, barely having social media, showing a maturity beyond his years, focusing on his development as a player and person rather than cultivating a following. This approach extended to his recruitment process as well. Unlike many top prospects who relish the attention, Arch showed little interest in the hype surrounding college offers and consistently declined interview requests, letting his on-field performance speak for itself. This humility and maturity was also evident in his day-to-day -day actions. Despite his growing fame and status as the team's star quarterback, he prepared for games in the freshman locker room with the other freshmen, rode the freshman bus, and faithfully attended every JV game to support his teammates and friends. This grounded approach, maintaining strong connections with his peers despite his elevated status, speaks volumes about Arch and who he is as a person and leader. It's no wonder by the conclusion of his freshman year, he had earned a top ranking among quarterbacks in his class. As Arch entered his soft sophomore year, the national spotlight only intensified. His games began to be on ESPN as a high schooler. The unprecedented attention meant that even casual sports fans who didn't typically follow high school or college recruiting were becoming aware of Arch Manning and the potential he represented. The pressure could have been overwhelming, but Arch responded in the most emphatic way possible. He delivered stellar performance after stellar performance, opening his sophomore year with a six touchdown game. Arch's junior year saw him continue to evolve as a player and leader. Over 1,800 passing yards, 26 touchdowns, and just four interceptions, complemented by six rushing touchdowns that showcased the dual threat capabilities that we didn't see from either of his uncle. As his high school career progressed, everyone had one question, the speculation, where would Arch be going to college? Arch and his family maintained a view of secrecy around the process. This approach left everyone guessing. Would he follow in the footsteps of his father and grandfather by choosing Ole Miss? Or perhaps would he honor his uncle Peyton's legacy by committing to Tennessee? The mystery only added to the intrigue around Arch. It's no exaggeration to say every single college program wanted Arch to be their quarterback. When the time finally came for him to announce his college decision, he did so in a manner that perfectly encapsulated who Arch was. There was no press conference, no flashy video edit, or even a drawn out announcement. Instead, a six word tweet accompanied by one hashtag, his first and only post on the platform at the time. He committed to the University of Texas. Arch's transition to college football at Texas has been marked by the same patience and long-term vision that you could see he had in high school. His first season with the Longhorns, it was clear that he wouldn't see significant playing time, something he knew when he committed. This approach to development, which prioritizes long-term growth over immediate playing time, is something Tom Brady has talked about a lot that not many young quarterbacks are doing anymore. And it's no surprise the Manning family agreed, wanting Arch to develop. Arch was a third string that freshman year and took a redshirt year, allowing him to develop his skills without wasting any eligibility. As he entered his second year, he became the backup, playing behind one of the 
the best quarterbacks in college football, Quinn Ewers, early Heisman candidate. Despite his backup status, circumstances allowed fans to catch glimpses of Arch in action when Quinn has went down with injury. He's shown flashes of the potential he has and already is. These performances, limited as they may be, only heighten the anticipation for college football and Texas fans next season.